Wine expert Natalie McLean joins us with some holiday wine gift and serving suggestions. Good morning. Good to see you. Oh, great to be back with you, Bob. Happy good. holidays. Yes, happy holidays. Wow, this month is just whizzing by. And, of yeah. course, with all the, uh, you know, Omicron concerns, you know, maybe the, some of the holiday get-togethers are being scaled back a bit, but they're still entertaining going on. Uh, so some helpful tips here. So, first of all, people are at the door. What do we serve? Actually, I love greeting people with a bottle of sparkling wine, Bob. I've got one here from Niagara, Queenston Mile, um, a lovely brute, very refreshing and zesty. And then I've got an Italian Prosecco from Cupcake. So I think sparkling wine is the wine of celebration. I mean, it's just so fitting for this time of year and it also makes a great gift. Absolutely, yeah. Now, um, how do we ensure we have enough? <laughs> is there a right. ratio or a rule of thumb? Yes. So yeah, that's a great question. So I count on um, one drink per guest per hour if they're drinking alcoholic beverages, whether it's wine or something else. Well, you're boring um, friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it is good to be conservative and to stock more than you think you'll need. And especially for a sit down dinner, people tend to drink two drinks per hour. And Specifically, I'd recommend, um, there's a new winery, Bob, in Niagara called AMO. It's just gorgeous. I mean, the packaging, but, yeah. but the wine inside is good, too. Yeah, this is that a looks like rose. a great gift idea. Yeah, wouldn't it? It would go with your turkey. And then I have a beautiful Sea Sun Pinot Noir from California, made by the, uh, the Wagner family, who also makes Camus. Very luxurious, like uh, liquid berries, great for your cranberry sauce, too. Oh, okay. Where do those two come in, price point-wise? Um, they're both uh, under $25, oh, okay. so yeah. very affordable, beautiful, um, great gifts as yeah. well. We should take this opportunity to plug your website, too, because NatalieMcLean.com, you've like, got such a great breakdown of all the wines available at the LCBO with pricing, but great descriptions as well. So just at Thank a glance, you. so we can get our picks. Absolutely, and I teach courses online too, yes. so it's all fun. All the homework is liquid, so <laughs> I get lots of uh, great students from around the world. Um, I've got two more picks for you, uh, Bob. Uh, sticking close again to Niagara, I've got Drea Cabernet Franc. It's a new wine for Drea. She is Aunt, uh, Drea Kaiser, son, or daughter mm -hmm. of Carl Kaiser, beloved uh, industry figure. Um, she's doing really great things with her winery. And then I've got Sand Hill Sangiovese, which is a wonderful full-bodied red wine from BC. Okay, what about liqueurs and spirits? Yeah, so not everybody drinks wine. I don't mm. understand those people, but sometimes they show up. <laughs> I'm one. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I love right. both. Oh, good. I'm, I'm glad. Universal appeal, Bob. <laughs> yes. So I like to have some classic liqueurs. So, for instance, uh, Frangelico, uh, Bar Rail Essentials, uh, Marie Brizard. These are liqueurs that you can easily, you know, um, pour on the rocks or, you know, as a mixed cocktail, whatever you've got on the go. But, you know, they'll also go well because they are higher in alcohol with treats like um, shortbreads or fruitcake. I, I don't know if anything will make fruitcake taste good, but you can try so. with these. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about non-alcoholic options? Right. So it's always important to have that available, uh, both for those who are not drinking alcohol, but even for those who are drinking alcohol, we want to be responsible hosts. So my rule of thumb is for every one alcoholic beverage, have a glass of non-alcoholic water, sparkling water. I love serving fruit punch and make sure it's labeled that it's non-alcoholic. And the kids, of course, they've got to have something that's non-alcoholic right. or else they'll be staggering out. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, Want to get that labeling right. <laughs> exactly. That's very key around this time of year. Another uh, option is like a sparkling cider that doesn't have alcohol. So cider can be with or without. When it's with alcohol, it's called hard cider. But without, it's it's festive too. You can serve it in a champagne glass and, and they've got their own bubbly as well. Okay. Um, is there any way or any ideas how we can like personalize what we're offering up? Sure. So you could offer a gift from the place where maybe the person was born. I mean, I love going local, of course. So things like Drea's or Queenston Mile. I mean, if people are from the area, there's nothing better than getting them a gift from uh, Niagara. And, you know, if you can get it signed by the winemaker, that's fun. But let's say um, they have, uh, I don't know, Italian heritage or something, or French, or maybe uh, they got married um, in Paris, or their first apartment was in San Francisco. I don't know how anybody could afford that, but anyway, you <laughs> but could go with some little wines. tidbit that you can tie in. 
Exactly. Hey, so great, those great are tips, for great suggestions, and uh, more great ideas and help online at NatalieMcLean.com. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, Bob. Cheers.